I know the word spiritual or spirituality is a much maligned word, but let me put it into context. It is just that if your experience of life transcends the limitations of being physical, then it is supposed to be spiritual. But it's taken on various forms and may have various meanings for people. When you say religion and spirituality, religion comes because of an established belief system. Spiritual process comes because you become a seeker. You can become a seeker only when you realize that you do not know. When you realize the immensity of I do not know, the longing to know and uh, the search… search for knowing begins. This is a spiritual process. So, being a believer is one thing, being a seeker is another thing. Believer means you have assumed things that you do not know or not yet in your experience. A seeker means you have realized that you do not know and you're seeking to know. You must understand this, for the first time in the history of humanity, human intellect is sparking like never before. Or in other words, more people are today capable of thinking for themselves than ever before in the history of humanity. So, having said that, because human intellect is uh, sparking like this, naturally anything that you talk to people must make logical sense or must have a scientific basis to it. So in pursuit of human well-being, people have looked up heavenward and people have become hallucinatory and they've fought wars, they've done horrible things to each other and they continue to do it even today. And many people started looking outward in search of human well-being. Looking outward, we've ripped half the planet apart. Everything, all the ecological disasters we have caused is all in pursuit of human well-being. Human well-being will not happen. Human well-being will not happen unless one turns inward because human experience is created from within. Or in other words, in is the only way out. Once you realize this, spiritual process or yoga, a, technolo a technology for inner well-being, tools for self-transformation becomes very relevant. In my perception, what I see is, as human intellect fires more and more, you will see in the next twenty-five to fifty years, yoga will become the norm on the planet, not an exception.